Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Tarmo on the left and Death Rain on the right. I'm just now realizing these Mining Guild surveyors are so wordy that they're taking up too much room in the overlay and you can't see them all so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Tarmo Brad flying a list he's made uh, several iterations of. Right now we are witnessing the peak of his Mining Guild Surveyor Swarm. Everybody's got crack shot. We got Zuvio accompanying the swarm with Elusive Pattern Analyzer, Proximity Mines, and Contraband Cybernetics. There we go. On the other side, Death Rain flying Kagi, Jonas, Reimer, and Kestel. And if you can't, if you haven't been able to tell, already. The Death Rain Destruction Derby is capped at pilot skill 4. So no 5s and 6s. And this is what we're left with. Ha! <laughs> Alinsky says, as it should be. What? Paintcast in the chat. How you doing? Luke himself. So one heart's from the swarm. Gonna get it turned around. Let's take a look at Death Rain's list. He's got Kagi. When was the last time you saw that guy? I don't think any ship on the scum side can even target lock, so we will not be seeing Kagi trigger his ability the start of the engagement phase. Choose one or more friendly ships at range 0 to 3. If you do transfer all the locks to yourself, well, that's not going to happen. Jamming Beam, Sloan, and ST321. Sloan, pretty mean. Going to give these bombers rerolls against enemy ships with stress. And if you kill one of these enemy ships, besides the Lambda, you're going to end up double stressed. A lot of Ruthless. We've seen Death Rain use this upgrade to his advantage in the past. Likes to damage his own ships in order to change dice results to hits. Barrage Rockets on Jonas. Cluster Missiles on Reimer. One of the best, most efficient upgrades, I think. Uh, Reimer able to change the range of a weapon increase it or decrease it by one so these clusters he can fire at range zero or three it's pretty awesome uh, we've also got Kestel no, what am I talking about Kagi two different K pilots Kagi with ST321 that tells you he's going to be coordinating one of the concerns with Rhymer or any munitions that requires a target lock you could be vulnerable on your defense. So having that coordinate out there means you could be double modded. Have that focus for your offense and defensive mods. We do have Kestel in the aggressor. I think it's a very aggressive move from Death Rain. Straight flexing. Wants to prove this ship can be worthwhile. Kestel can spend a focus token to deny you the use of your focus, right? Blank and focus results. You can take your blank and focus evade results away. More one hard turns from the swarm. They're all going for evades this time. I wonder if it would have been worth barrel rolling a few of these just so they're not in two distinct columns like this. I think with Crackshot you have a better chance with this swarm of lining up 
crack shots if you have a, a wider formation. Maybe if they bank next turn, that'll affect where those bullseye arcs land. We do have a barrel roll from Zuvio in the back. Firing line advances from the bombers and the aggressor. Everybody takes focuses. Kagi banks in behind. Going to coordinate to Rhymer. He's going to be out of range. No way. Yep, just out for Rhymer. Jonas looking for shots, but there are none. So back to the dials. So Zuvio back here can throw proximity mines out the front. Of course, has the quad jumper tractor ability be a little tricky to line up with all these ties in front of him and they move first so that probably won't come into play till you know second or third turn of engagement I would think the ties need to engage and then start turning around and then you might see Zuvio tractors Ty's moving up, three bank is the maneuver of choice here. Takes an evade, all right, not going full aggro. Chooses defense. Yeah, I like this. I think after the banks, you get a lot more options with your crack shots. A lot more coverage. Ooh, did I miss? Yeah, Attila with the uh, $10 pledge via patron. Patreon, thank you very much. Kessel moves up and focuses. Reimer and Jonas... Maybe Rhymer's going to get the target lock from Coordinate. Because, boy, a cluster missile into a swarm. Awful tasty. Especially with Ruthless hits, with Jonas rerolls. There's going to be a lot of mods here. Death Rain, think about who he wants to start off shooting. Now, all of the, the Jonas rerolls, the Barrage Rocket rerolls, those are going to come into play for Kestel and Jonas if they shoot range 2. If they take those range one shots, uh, those range one primary shots, they will still have three dice attacks, but they won't have the rerolls. So maybe it's worth going munitions here, even if it means shooting 
range two or three. Of course, that won't matter because they don't get the range advantage. But you may there is a consideration of shooting the ties at range one so they can't shoot you with three dice. Cluster missile, rhymer, getting us started. Player one is Tarmo, by the way, which will come into play next turn when we have possible tractors. Three natty hits. That's how he's going to start off. All right, two evades. Spins the evade token. There it is. Takes nothing. Second cluster shot. That was on blue. Okay. Now going to bounce to green. Hit crit, Jonas allows rerolls with missile and torpedoes. Ooh, hit hit crit. Spins the evade token. Wow, two cluster missiles. Fully modded. All hit hit crits. Hit nothing. Orlinski says those black and green dice look way better on stream than in real life. These are actually custom dice that Tarmo made. Took that uh, hexiled pattern, pasted it on there. Two hits. This is Kagi, it looks like. Ooh, with the reroll from the ST321 target lock. Three hits. This is our third. Uh, attack with three hits and or crits. These ties can't possibly dodge it again. One evade. Gonna take two. That will be half points. Now who is this on? Looks like it's blue. Who's up next? So blue's on one, and if you want to keep shooting into blue, that means no more munitions. That means um, no rerolls. Now you could use ruthless. There's plenty of friendly ships at range one you could take damage on to change results into hits. And these bombers are quite beefy. I don't know that they want to start damaging themselves before the ties shoot. Here's a range one attack from Kestel. Two hits. Is he going to ruthless? Does he have a target lock? Oh, he is using ruthless. Going to bounce it into Rhymer. No guts, no glory. One evade takes two, and blue is out of there. So Death Rain gets a ship off the board before they shoot, and he should still have one more left. I would probably go Barrage Rocket into green. Yeah. Get the rerolls. He's got no evade tokens anymore. Deny that crack shot if you can. Yep, Jonas. Barrage rocket. Two hits. He's thinking about whether he wants to spin the focus or re-roll. Spins the focus for three. Might make himself a target with that. One evade takes two on green. So green lives. 
is half points. Zuvio, starting us out. Hit crit thanks to the focus. Blank, focus, I believe this is... Oh, this is Rhymer, okay. Takes the crit. Hull breach. Ooh, that is not what you want before a swarm starts shooting into you. Every damage this swarm puts into Rhymer will now be a crit, will now be served face up. Red's gonna shoot into Rhymer and you can see that yellow arc is the bullseye, that means crack shot online. Two dice, one hit. Rhymer needs two evades and he gets them! Can't crack both! Green, range one, crack shot, three dice versus two, no mods. Hit crit. So one of these is going through no matter what. There's the single evade. Do we have a crack shot? There it is. Dodge this. That's a crack. Console fire goes through. Hole breach, hole breach, console fire. Double hole breach! Get out the duct tape. So we've had three so far. Yellow's gonna shoot. Two dice into Rhymer, and I don't like his chances. Yo. Two blanks. Well, if enough ties roll like that, no problem. Brown has a crack shot into Jonas, but I'm sure he would like to keep shooting into Rhymer. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about all these evades. Definitely went full defense. One hit. That's going through. Disabled power regulator. Has already engaged, so that ion will be next turn. Not this one, if he makes it that far. Now he's got three hole left, and I think there's only one shot left. And it does not have Rhymer in arc. So Rhymer is going to survive. Bonwalk says Tarmo's not rolling focuses anyway. You're right. Uh, one hit. Well, there you go. Right when you say it. Two eyeballs in the attack roll. Ooh, two natty evades. And back to dials. Rhymer, four crits, double hull breach, console fire, and power regulator. I would imagine he wants to 5k. You gotta think about where you're gonna be when that ion catches up with you. If you 5k, then you'll just wander forward. Um, do you have a potential tractor this round not a lot of great i mean i guess you could tractor rhymer to the right i still think he misses that rock Ooh, funwalk says he's counting five damage on rhymer he can count better than i can you're right i put the crits on him 
didn't take the hull off. So he's on one. Console fire could kill him next turn. Look at the amount of space dedicated to Rhymer's crits in the overlay. That is a whole ship's worth of crits. Zuvio moves up far enough. He, I think uh, Kagi is definitely a good target for that proximity mine. Not nearly as mobile as these bombers. Pants saying, can pink sloop? Uh, mining guild ties cannot sloop. They got K turns. Let's get down here on the board. Let's see if there's a clear lane. That is awful close. Clear. Now is that three ship links? One, two, yeah. That should be three. see K turns here from the you know what does K what does Kestel have? 4K. Mm, if these guys move, 4K could fit. Death Rain gonna draw some pictures here. Oh, he's drawing <laughs> his ASCII version of Death Rain the pilot, which is completely bizarre. Death Rain the pilot, the <laughs> Death Rain the human being, is not flying Death Rain the pilot in Death Rain's destruction derby. We have two successful K turns here from pink and yellow. Looks like two bumps there from green and brown. Green did a two forward, brown with a two forward. There's the two forward from Seavor. And there's the bump from Zuvio. All right. Yeah, I don't think Kagi gets out of here. I Kagi's a four. I would move Kagi first, just so you don't get in range of that proximity mine. 
because I think if Kagi moves slightly, then Zuvio has the option of dropping the prox and triggering it on the Lambda. Now, right now, Rhymer is in danger of a proximity mine. He wants to fix console fire. The problem is if he stays right there, he is guaranteed to die, whereas the console fire would at least be a roll. He fixes console fire. I think that, that's a bit of a misplay, but maybe he didn't want to get in the way of that. Well, that wouldn't have been in the way. Mm. Hard to know. Five and a 4K. Yeah, somebody's getting proximity mind. Zuvio's got options. Alright, Kagi into green. Green is the injured TIE fighter, so hopefully Kagi can take it off the board before it shoots. Ooh, is that one hit? That is an eyeball. So, a whole lot of nothing there from Kagi. Four dice, no natural hits or crits. Kestel, I imagine, will try the same target. No munitions because of the K turn. Two dice versus three. Two natty hits though. How many natty evades can green get? One, that is not enough. Green, you're out. Jonas. Does he have a range one and a red? I think they're about to. Yep. No. Wow. Unfortunate. Gonna shoot a Zuvio here. Double crits! Wow, rude. Zuvio's got no mods, but he doesn't need them. Two natural evades. backwards through the pilot skills. Zuvio shoots first, then Seavor, then the rest of the swarm. We get there eventually. One evade.
Hit crit. Where's Kagi at? Takes two on Kagi. Yellow. Gonna shoot into Rhymer. Range one. Double crits. Rhymer, does he live long enough to be proximity mind? He does not. And that takes care of the Ion situation as well. Oh, Sloan triggers, and we get three stress tokens on that TIE Fighter. I almost forgot about Sloan there. Pink. Could start peppering away at Kagi in anticipation of the proximity mine. Forty three to forty eight. Wow, that's that is close. Two hits. Zero evades. That must be Kagi. Shields down on the cow. He's definitely getting proximity mind next turn. 100%. Bombers got turned around, or I guess our bomber and aggressor. Will they be able to one forward to victory? Take a focus, shoot some munitions again. The cluster missiles are off the board. That's unfortunately that that's unfortunate. They died with two charges left. Cluster missiles definitely strong against the swarm. Even if we saw them. Both get dodged in the first turn of combat. these crits on Rhymer. Triple stressed yellow mining guild tie. Let's take a look at the blues. One and two forward, two bank. Not a whole lot. Wait, there was a three in there, right? Three straight? Yeah. Two and three forward, two bank. Maybe disengage with a three. Just stay right where you're at with a two bank left. I think a three forward with pink should get in the way. Oh, you know what? Two forward barrel roll. Oh, can you get over far enough? I don't think you can. To block the one forward from... Jonas. So Tarmor Brad moves first. I want can you get these guys out of the way 
for a two turn from Zuvio. You could track Dirk Kestel, but then what do you do with him? Maybe force him onto this gas cloud. Nine minutes left, 43 to 48. Kagi at 10. One more damage for half, and that will be the proximity mine. So that'll give him 31 points for Tarmo. Looks like Tarman Brad's ready to go. So is Death Rain. Let's see what they've got. Here's the proximity mine out the front. Yeah. <laughs> They're not even going to put the... Uh... Ooh! Double blanks, but Kagi takes the one. Let's watch those points change 74 to 48 does get half points but nothing else very lucky roll there from death rain should be it for the system phase three forward from pink i like it blocks kestel i'm just slow rolling and focusing Ooh, takes a focus token might be our first offensive mod for the ties. K turn out of brown. Bank in from pink. Three banks, so it does not relieve any of the stress. Four forward from red. Yeah, didn't feel good about the 3k. That makes sense now. Takes the evade. There's the turn in from Zuvio. Is he gonna attract her? Nope, focuses. He's gonna wait patiently with his proximity mines. Bank in from Kestel and a focus, wow. So he's getting a barrage rocket. Jonas bumps into the quad jumper, but nobody there to follow up. He might take one shot from Brown back here. Kestel bumps into Kagi, bumps into Kestel. Kestel, Kagi, Karsavi. I think that's all the K's in the uh, Empire. Looks like we're starting with Jonas. Yeah, yeah, two dice. Into red back here. 
two hits. Hey -o. One evade takes... Oh, nope, he has the token. Oh, wow, he's going to take it. All right. I definitely would have spent that because you can't make the assumption that Kagi's going to shoot you range one back here. Actually, I spend it because I want Kagi to shoot red instead of range one into Zuvio. Totem says, or range one with Sloan reroll into brown. You're right. I'm forgetting about Sloan still. Now, does Sloan apply to the ship that she's on? Friendly ship. Another friendly ship, so it can't... Um, Kagi can't get the rerolls. Right? Oh, this is the barrage rocket? Yeah. This is Kestel. Bounces into... What? Jonas. That goes into Kagi. All right. So Barrage Rocket from Kestel. Ruthless for one. Ooh, blanks out. Brown is out of there. I think he forgot about the... Sloan reroll, right? I think he just went straight for a ruthless. So Brown is one shotted. Kagi. He re-rolled into a blank. Okay, and then Ruthless. All right. I was too busy reading the uh, Sloan card. Thank you, guys. Could have been Jonas re-roll, too. Oh, you're right. He had multiple ways to re-roll that dice. Goes range one, one hit. See two dice, so it must be the quad jumper. Gonna use elusive. Oh, blank into a blank. That's one damage into Zuvio. Zuvio, range one into Kestel. Nice. 3v2 with a focus. Hit crit. Still nothing to spin that focus on. Blank focus. Kestel spent... No, there's that token. Takes the crit on the shield. And 
and back to dials. So uh, pretty good position, I think, for the one forward. Ooh, that's dangerous. I don't think that hits. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I think that's too dangerous. Proximity mine from Zuvio this turn. I don't think so. get to the bottom of this mystery why death rain isn't flying death rain in the death rain event he's instead he's over here drawing death rain symbols A reverse from Zuvio would be kind of spicy here. Brad says he's got some some big plans for this around here. 74 to 72 still. Wow, very close. Two points separating them. Death Rain currently behind. Oh, somebody's playing with their seismic tokens. This is the triple stressed tie, yeah. So this one shouldn't be much of a problem. Maybe could one hard and just keep Kagi bumping. But I think we're gonna see a K turn from pink. K turn from red. Yeah, I think Zuvio right now is the biggest threat. These ties are all facing different directions. One of them's triple stress. There's only three of them. Uh, have they all have their crack shots left? Is dropping the proximity mine here. 
Not the cluster he wishes he had the clusters. Yeah, it does not hit anything. Might get in the way of Jonas, though. Two bank out of yellow. That tells us a little bit about pink's going to do. One hard right bumps. K turn out of red. Zuvio. He's probably going to sloop, yeah. for a barrel roll. Okay. All right. Up to death rain now. Johnny, looking to pick up the scum damage deck today. He's been doing the Lord's work, scanning the uh, the new damage decks in so we can use them in TTS. Oh, looks like we had a contraband trigger. A little late, but uh, Death Rain is a nice guy. Going to tractor Kestel. Now the problem with this is Kestel can rotate if he didn't do a red maneuver. Nope. Put the tractor on the wrong ship. Try to roll left and forward, but there's no room. Is Kestel going to stay right there? There's the 5k from Jonas. Did he hit the gas cloud? Blank hit takes two. Nah, he's good. Above half. No crits. So that is the end of the proximity mines. Kestel banks through Kagi, takes a focus, and now has a nice uh, bullseye arc. Well, We'll see how nice it is. Red is on two hull, so the barrage rocket with the rerolls uh, could kill it. Kestel probably doesn't want to take that tractor to crack shot. We'll 
see if Jonas is in range for the rerolls, and he is. That range is 0 to 1. So I think he's going to spend another charge. And he gets two charges and the focus. Blanks out on the tie. Oh no, the ship can reroll two dice, so you don't need to use the uh, the barrage rocket reroll. So red is dead. Rhymer. Jonas. Did I say Rhymer? Ruthless. Into Kagi. Who's down to three now. Another blank out on the ties! Is this the tie or the... Here's the third dice. That was range three. Nothing. So Zuvio on two. That's half points. Kagi range one into Zuvio one hit. Three dice. This must be. Oh no. He's attacking Zuvio, so it'll only be. One evade, Zuvio's fine. Oh, totem. Oh, well. You're right. Uh, Should have been able to use Sloan for the reroll from Jonas. focuses. Totem says also for Kagi. Kagi can't use Slum. Sloan is another friend, uh, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3. Oh, never mind, never mind. You're right. I was reading the first part. You are a friendly ship at range 0. Bye. <laughs> Sloan does not give stress for the carrier ship. That's what it is. You're right. She does get the other effect. So Kagi should have been re-rolling. Versus Zuvio. Zuvio's got two hull left. Let's see, did Kagi take damage there while I was getting things wrong? He's got three left. He's fine. Out of bombs on Zuvio. And that tractor didn't do a whole lot.
So yellow. Too stressed now. Zuvio moves up and takes a focus. Okay, turn out a Kestel. Bump from Jonas. Ooh, and a bank from Kagi. Gonna coordinate. A target lock. Interesting. Now this is Jonas, not Rhymer. So I wonder why he would lock. Kagi gets a target lock from ST321. He's going to put it on Zuvio. Target locks and focuses have about the same uh, likelihood of hitting. In fact, the exact same. Um, target locks have a slightly better chance of critting, so maybe this is telling us that uh, Death Rain is going all in. Even if he has to use crits to get double damage, he wants every chance he's got to take Zuvio off the board right now. I think they're realizing that maybe they've gotten the uh, the order wrong a little bit. Zuvio should be shooting first. Blank, blank, focus. He's going to spend it for one. Jonas, I think, is one away from half. Hey, that focus might have come in handy. Would have kept his points. 101 to 128. Here's a range one shot. Into Zuvio, who has no mods, 3v2. Jonas with a target lock, he's definitely going to spend it. And look at that, thats it's always the tokens you don't bring. Spend the lock and then you can Ruthless, right? Yeah. And now he's going to Ruthless. Kagi, on to... One evade. Takes two on Zuvio, and that should be the end of the quad jumper. Ten minutes left, 152 to 101. Now Kagi gets to shoot out the front. We'll see if Castel. Yeah, gonna take that shot from downtown. One hit. Oh wow, puts a damage into Jonas for two hits, two evades, three evades, I would not have done that. Death Rain loves the memes. Can we find a downtown sound effect? Uh, two evades, one crit. That was Kagi. Range two into yellow. Nothing goes through. Let's see what this is. I'm here. For, I'm here. For nope. Here from downtown. We need like a uh, like an NBA Jam shot from downtown. Hmm. Oh well, we'll get back to that later. Under nine minutes. 
152 to 101. Jonas, two hole remaining. Kestel with four, Kagi with two. Let's see, I, I wonder if we'll see a. Let's look at Kestel real quick. Two bank, yeah. Two bank left. Try and start lining up that barrage rocket for yellow here. Might have to take some shots from pink, so maybe you just one forward. All right, so yellow is unstressed now, takes a focus, takes an evade. I think they uh, forgot to remove some of the stress earlier. 3K from pink. Moves up in barrel rolls with Kestel. Kagi with the too hard turn. Does not bump. Will be stressed. Range one of yellow. Jonas. Almost certainly going to focus. Might barrel roll to get out of... Maybe get some gas cloud coverage? Goes for the barrel roll. Has a linked action target lock on the bomber. I don't think he's going to do it. Probably get an unobstructed shot there. Kestel. Range one. One hit. Pink. Three dice. One of eight. I think you take Kagi's shot first, and then you see if you want to use Ruthless or something crazy. Alright, he's doing it. Maybe he wants to try and strip the evade. Is that an evade or a focus? That's an evade. Don't you dare do it. Alright, he's going to go straight Kagi. Range 1, Kagi has not had a lot of these, a lot of luck with these uh, range 1 four dice attacks. And that all changes because I mentioned it. Four hits, range 1, one guaranteed to go through, two going through on, oh, nope, just one. I know how to count. Above half. Pink. Does it have a shot? Nope. 
Yes. Range three. Check for obstruction. There is none. 2v3. Hit crit. Naturals. Jonas is on two. This could kill him. He needs a uh, evade. Gets it. Needs not a direct hit. Wounded. Gonna have to roll for his actions to see if he takes a stress. Two and a half minutes left. One or two rounds left. Tarmo needs 52 points to lead. You'd have to, well, killing Jonas gets you 27. Jonas and Kagi have to go. There's the two bank out of pink, relieves the stress. Three sloop out of yellow and a stress. I would imagine there's gonna be a one bank from Kagi. One minute. Death Rain thinking about who to activate first. I think... Kagi, if you relieve the stress, maybe coordinate back to... Jonas. Kagi gets the target lock, Jonas gets a focus, maybe for... Barrage Rockets. Coordinates the focus, gets the target lock from ST321. Ooh. What? Hmm. I guess that'll be for defense. Doesn't take the strain, but also no shots. Kestel might have a range 3 barrage rocket shot, maybe even with the bullseye arc lined up. I think you shoot Kestel first. Because if you don't have to spend that focus, then you get to save it for defense. Hmm. Oh, spends all of his barrage rocket charges and the focus for three. Yellow on two hull, three dice. One evade. Takes two. Yellow is dead. And that should do it for the game. There's no way for Tarmo to get the points he needs.
Isn't yellow dead? Maybe not. I got those points wrong, I guess. Well, there's a <laughs> range one, two hits and two crits. Now it's definitely dead. Oh, somehow pink lost a health. I think they put the damage on the wrong ship at some point, maybe. Rolls for console fire. Takes the hit. Jonas is dead. So Jonas dies from console fire. No, that was that's wounded pilot. What am I talking about? Spends the focus for hit crit. Crit goes through. Who's that on? I think this is Kagi. Fuel leak. Oh, and crack shot. Nice. So Kagi's dead. All right, and that will do it. 176 to 131. Death Rain weathers the storm of the swarm. The swarm storm. Wow. Comes out on the other side. Claims the victory. Congratulations to him. Thanks to everybody for watching. Until next time, this is Scott from Exiled Gaming, signing off.